Hey everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. And today's video is Evan Moore's STEM Lessons and Challenges. Just in case you're not familiar with STEM, it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And in this line from Evan Moore, each one of the books includes 15 open-ended STEM challenges with testable goals. We love STEM in our homeschool, so I was so excited to see these books when they released. Now, in case you have younger kiddos, they also have a series called Smart STEM, and it is very similar STEM activities for younger kids. So they have it available in pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade. Now, we are so excited. We can't wait to dive in. So I am actually going to let you guys join us in one of these STEM challenges now. Magnets come in different shapes and sizes, but all have two ends or poles. The poles are part of a magnet that is where the force is the strongest. The force enters the magnet at one end and leaves the magnet at the other end. When you put the opposite poles of two magnets together, the poles pull and stick to each other. They attract each other, but two poles of the same kind push away or repel one another. So I have a magnet kit here and we're gonna try it really quick so that we can see what they're talking about with poles. So this is all magnetic stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do though, and we're going to try this, right? So if we put these two together, these poles attract, right? What if we flip them over? They still do it, right? What if we only flip one? It doesn't work. Exactly. So here, now you try. Watch your fingers. So your challenge today is going to be building a car that would move three foot, which is exactly what this is. We have up to 36 inches. So your car has to be able to move from here to here, okay? And it has to be able to move without you touching it. So you can't push the car. You can use different things like magnets and metals so that it will move across the 36 inches. So the first thing you're gonna do is brainstorm what your car can look like. Think about the kind of car you want to make and think about the things you want to use to build your magnetic car. Then you can draw a picture on this block. So you just finished brainstorming your car and you decided that you're going to build it with what? Legos. Okay, so you know you're going to build your car with Legos. And then we've already done the planning, so you've thought about the things that you have that might be able to make the car move. So you've collected paper clips, some magnets, some binder clips, double-sided tape, magnet sticks, and little metal rounds, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you're going to look at the design you drew, and then you're going to use all of the things that you've collected, and you can go get your Legos in just a second, and you're going to go ahead and make your magnetic car. Well, it doesn't work. I guess I'll have to recreate. All right, so you planned it, you created it, and you tested it. Did it work? Mm -mm. No, it didn't. So right here, you can write about your test. You can just write, write whatever you want, or you can draw a picture. And then right down here, you're going to write what you think you should do next time. Okay. And then I have a sheet right here, after you've done that, where you can redesign it. And then we can test it again. Okay. And I'm going to try it out. Yes! Alright, are you ready to test your magnetic car? Yeah! 
Okay, so for it to be successful, it has to pass the 36. Do you see the 36 on the ruler? Right here. All right, so it has to go that far without you touching it, right? Yes. All right, go. Good job.